super excited about nail school this week. We're going to be shooting from our distributor's facility in Belfast, Young Nails, Northern Ireland. And today we're going to be featuring the acrylic cracked ice look. This is a service that you absolutely need to have and offer to your clients. And we're going to take you through the steps on exactly how to do this look right now on Nail School. All right, man, cracked ice acrylic, what do we got? Well, this is exciting because we are in Belfast, Northern Ireland, and we are about to execute the easiest way for you guys to use mylar, some confetti and glitter to create that really intense cracked ice look. I'm gonna show you guys how to use speed clear to lay down this design with ease. Check it out. So what I've done is I've prepped protein bonded and put a nail form on her finger. And what I'm going to do is use Speed Clear, and then I'm going to apply some of this blueberry mylar. I'm gonna take a few pieces out. All right, so just gonna kind of break it apart so that I have really, really small pieces. Okay. And then I'm going to use a little bit of Surf Star Sand. and moody confetti, right, to give it some dimension. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build a really nice clear free edge. We're going to do that wet. I pick up the pearl. I'm going to set that right to the front of the nail. What we're going to do with this wet is just get it up to the edge and then while the product is wet, this is where I'm actually going to start taking the mylar and pushing it into the free edge so that it sticks. And then you're gonna notice that I'm actually going to be able to shape it. With the mylar inside the clear acrylic. Now what I want to do is I want to take another small amount of acrylic and I'm going to lay this down right here on the natural nail. And then we're going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to start working the mylar up through the body. And with the product wet, I'm going to take a little bit of star sand and surf and start to work it around the mylar to really make it pop. I'm gonna go back with one more small wet pearl. We're gonna work this all the way back to the cuticle area and then I'm going to find smaller pieces to work around the edge. And if there's any open space, what I'm going to do is use a little bit of star sand around the cuticle and surf just to kind of cover up any of those open spots. So as you can see, I have really good coverage with all the mylar and glitter on the nail. Okay, so before we overlay it, we're gonna do one more thin coat over the surface. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one more thin coat, and I'm just gonna, right here in the middle, just apply it through the body. And I'm going to take some of the Moody's, and we're going to place those through, right, to create a little bit of dimension. And then again, I'm just going to pick up some smaller pieces of mylar as well, and just kind of lay those in and around, okay, just to, to 
hot shove. Star sand and a dash again of surf to create the dimension that we need. And now we're ready to overlay the nail. We're now going to get a nice even amount. We're going to get a nice wet pearl of speed clear. I'm going to set it to the cuticle area. We're going to hold the finger down, allowing the product to overlay the whole entire design. This is going to create a nice balance through the upper arch. I'm going to get one more pearl. What we're going to do is we're going to cap the tip and use that to finish off the structure. Okay. We're going to let this dry, file it into shape. And you guys are going to see how awesome this looks. So as you can see, with all that dimension, you get that cracked ice look. The cracked ice effect is a way to really make that nail look like jewelry. With the combination of speed clear and all the embellishments, your client's fingers are going to attract a lot of attention.